Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to show you how I store and organize my uh, stamps and die sets. Um, I have uh, another system for my tonic dies separately, which I'm going to show that in a separate video. These are all the other sets. They're not tonic. Um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Anyways, I store them in this box right here. And this box is, uh, let me see... It's, uh, it's 11 and a half wide and about six and a half inches tall. And what I've done is I've stored everything in here. Currently, they are filed by the name of the um, set. Uh, I may have to change that later. Uh, because I don't know if I'll be able to find what I want. But I think the way these are... Uh, how I'm using these colored stickers. I think it's easy to find in here. So let me show you what I have done. Now, I have not used all the same envelopes for these because some of them had their own packaging and I decided just to keep them that way. So for example, these uh, these are the Diamond Press uh, kits and I have them stored in these envelopes. I had picked these up on Amazon. I will link them down below. I absolutely love them. Oops. So they come with this, um, they're Velcro. And you can store your um, stamps and dies in there. And these are, let me see how wide they are. Uh, these are 10 inches wide by, uh, let's see. I would say about six inches tall so they're six by ten and I will link these down below so what I've done is I put the name of the product um, on here and then I put the um, depending on the name like this is diamond press if they're a uh, short name I might have just used a whole name so that's what I've done here and then some of these other items, they already had um, pouches set up, so I just kept them in there. So they're not really like all the same sizes. They can be different sizes, but most of them are like this. I also have some of these. Uh, I already had these, so I went ahead and used all of them up. And that's how I store them. Here's another one. I do have some smaller ones that I used. And... Um, so it just depends on the size of the die and stamp set. If you have a smaller set, like this one is kind of small. But because it has a stencil in there, I went ahead and used this uh, envelope here. And then let's see. So here's another one. Uh, this is, um, again, Diamond Press. And also, uh, just to let you know, they do come with these um, inserts here. Uh, I'm not using them currently because they're on the bottom. I can't see them anyways. But I think those can help um, if you have a different system. More here and then here. And then some of these, like for example, this is a um, wallflower. They're, they usually come in their own packaging, their own uh, reusable pouches. So uh, instead of changing them out, I just left them in there and I put the name on here. As you can see and same thing with this one this is by um, honeybee stamps it had come in this pouch so I left it in there and I just put the name so that way I'm not using every um, every packaging uh, that I have available for these I just there's no point of switching them out some of these, uh, like the Julie Nutting ones, uh, they come in their own, but I haven't actually used the packaging uh, that it comes in because I would have to remove other things, so I just left it the way it is. But as you can see, it comes in their own little pouches. But, um, and these I just filed them under uh, Julie because there's, I have a few of them. So, here's another one. This is a diamond press one. It already came with their own pouch and their own. I just went ahead and added that on there, but it already came with the strip. So that, that in there. 
And then like these, you know, some of them I just use whatever was already, I already had saved it in there. I just left it the way it was. And here's another one. This is scrapbook.com envelope. So yeah, not, you know, they're not always the same. It's whatever I had uh, on hand. This one, oh, I forgot to put a label on this one. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to take that out and do that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, how I'm storing my stamps and die sets. I do store uh, single stamps and uh, separate dies uh, separately. I'll show that in a later date. I just have them in the same system. I just have one box for dies and one for uh, uh, stamps. And then I have another box just for uh, like six by six paper, six by eight paper, things like that. But I'm gonna show you all that at a later date. And I will share with you how I store my tonic dies and sets uh, at a later date as well. Okay, and if you have any questions or comments, oh, and by the way, uh, this box, which I absolutely love, I got my box at Joann's. I buy all, all my boxes are from Joann's, so the only store that I found uh, the boxes with the sizes I need. And if it's, I don't think you're gonna find this one because I think this was from Autumn, as you can see. So, they're usually seasonal, but you know what? I don't really care. I mean, if I like the way it looks, it I just use it. All right. Um, that's it. Y'all have a great day. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.